What's up guys, Infernape here, and I am so, so happy that the new Pokemon games are only six days away. If you haven't pre-ordered uh, uh, the games by now and if you really want to, I highly recommend you go pre-order them now because six days isn't long. And I think that you guys should pre-order these games because these games look like some of the best Pokemon games ever. And I'm not just saying that because the region is based off the UK. Since the games were only six days away, I decided to share with you guys what I'm planning and to put on my team because I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the games when I get them. So, I, ha I actually decided um, what a Pokemon I was going to use based on uh, some of the uh, Pokemon that actually released thanks to a, a website called Cerebi. I left a link to it down in the description below if you want to check out some of the Pokemon that are rumoured to be in the new games. Be sure to let me know down in the uh, comment section and below what you're thinking about putting on your team if you're getting the games. And also uh, like if you agree with any of the Pokemon and that I'm putting on my team, also let me know down in the comment section below because that way we can get a little conversation going. Also let me know what starter Pokemon you're p uh, picking, Grookey, Scorbunny or Sobble. So without further ado... Let's get into the video! Now, as we all know, we're going to be putting a starter Pokemon on our team. And the ones to choose from are Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. So, I actually decided to go with what I usually do, and go with the fire starter. And that is Scorbunny. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, once uh, so I found out that the fire starter is actually a, a rabbit, I, I said right away, that's it, hands down, I'm guessing the starter. Because if you didn't, and I'm sure you didn't know this about me, but when I was like seven or eight, I actually I went to this um, garden centre with my family and we actually came across a rabbit. She was a, a white furred red eyed dwarf called, and we called her Sophie. And believe it or not, um, <laughs> Score Bunny kind of reminds me of my rabbit. So I thought right away, hands down, I'm getting this starter. Now before the starters were actually released, I didn't end and like I say to myself, I'm picking the fire starter no matter what. I actually said to myself, I'd find I would use the one that looked the coolest in its pre-evolution or even its final evolution. And since we don't have the final evolutions or even the middle evolutions, I had had to go with Score Bunny because it looks so cute. Like if I had a Score Bunny, I just want to pick it up and hug it, snuggle it. It's just so so cute. Plus, it'll. I think it might um, knock on wood, but I think it might evolve into a fire and fighting type. I'm not certain. But it looks like it's going to evolve into another fire and fighting type. If it does, I really don't mind. If it doesn't, I really don't care. Because I would love to use this starter Pokemon. Like, as soon as I saw it, I knew that this starter Pokemon was the one for me. Okay, time to kick things off with Pokemon that you're probably not going to be expecting. I actually... Um, when I usually pick a Pokemon game, I usually go oh, with a fire, water, grass type and add in the regional bird. Unfortunately, I didn't um, uh, fit in the grass Pokemon. But the next Pokemon I'm going to mention is probably the regional bird, I think. And that Pokemon is Corviknight. Now to me, Corviknight looks so, so badass. And I can and, and see quite a lot of people who actually think the same thing as me. Mainly Mr. Cumbrian. But I, I definitely think that Corviknight will be an awesome member of the team. It does look like a regional bird. And it does look pretty sick. I know it's a type isn't original because it's a steel type as well as a flying type. And the original was Skarmory. However... I think that Corviknight looks more badass than Skarmory does. I mean, I'm not usually, I'm not really a big fan of Skarmory, but I definitely think that Corviknight is so, so badass. Not only that, I actually saw a, a picture of some sort of leak 
when I was watching Mystic Umbreon's version of Hit Is um, Team, um, down in the description below as well. That's apparently, it, uh, someone actually uh, was holding some sort of cane that looks like a bird, but it looks somewhat similar to Corviknight. So I actually think they uh, have a pre-evolution of Corviknight. So if they do, and it's in like Route 1 or something, I'm definitely going to capture it and attempt to get myself a Corviknight. Because I really, really want to use a Corviknight on the team. Like a Steel and Flying type is going to be so useful. Like, because it'll, it'll be defensively and offensively really, really powerful. Plus, I also like the fact that you get to uh, fly all over the region on a Corviknight. But I definitely think they should have added some sort of in-game thing. If, uh, like, say if you have your own Corviknight, you could actually fly on that Corviknight and travel around the region instead of uh, 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 using one of the public Corviknights. That would have made more sense, but you can't please everyone, can you? Okay, the next member of my team is a water type. Now, I definitely found it very, very difficult to pick a water type because some of the uh, regional water types... They don't look cool. Like, they just don't look cool. So I had to uh, pick a Pokemon that isn't an exclusive to the Gala region, but I do still really, really like it. And that Pokemon is Lapras. Now, I definitely think that Lapras is a good Pokemon. Like, don't get me wrong. But I really was hoping to uh, use, like, Pokemon native to the region. But that I just couldn't find any uh, good water types that are native to that region. So, I had to go with my next best bet. But I do really love using Lapras, even though I do use it quite often. Like, I mainly use it in my Heart Gold playthroughs or my Soul Silver. Like... But still, I definitely really love Lapras. Like, it's good when it needs to be. Like, it's also oh, handy to have in case you find and any rocking ground types. That's why I decided to have a water type, uh, because uh, Scorp Bunny is weak to rock and ground type moves. So, a water type was very necessary. So, welcome aboard, Lapras. Plus, with the added bonus of being an ice type, it can also oh, be really handy against any grass types I might encounter, and most importantly, any dragon types I might encounter. Because dragon types can be quite tricky to handle if you don't have a fairy type, and I didn't add one to my team. So I decided to go with Lapras, so that way it can handle any dragon types I might encounter. I definitely think that Lapras will be a great asset to my team and I'm very happy uh, uh, yeah I can't even get my words out I'm very happy to have Lapras on my team now the next member of the team was definitely very hard to place because I really wanted a fighting type on my team and I also really wanted a psychic type on my team but there wasn't enough room to fit all the um, types that I wanted to put on the team so I thought hey why not have a Pokemon who is both a psychic type and a fighting type. So that is what exactly what the next member is. Say hello to the fourth member of the team, Gallade. Now, I have never, ever used a Gallade before in a playthrough. I, where have I? I don't think I have. So I really have been wanting to use a Gallade in a playthrough for quite a long time. So I thought this, this would be a good opportunity because both a psychic type and a fighting type can be really helpful. Like if you're facing any like poison types, steel types, rock types, like it will just be really helpful to have on your, your team because like plus Gallade can learn s some really good moves like close combat, psycho cut, stone edge, poison jab, leaf blade, the list goes on. Gallade is such a powerhouse when it comes to to do a Pokemon playthrough. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use its Mega Evolution because Mega Evolutions weren't introduced in the game. And I really, really wanted to have a Mega Gallade because like Mega Gallade is so, so cool. Like it's probably a, in my top 10 favorite Megas. Like maybe in the top 20, I don't know, but still, I love to use Mega Gallade, but unfortunately, Mega Evolutions weren't introduced. 
But I'm happy they're using regular glades. Like, not having Mega Evolutions may actually make it a bit more of a challenge if Nintendo have actually stepped it up from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But I definitely am definitely looking forward to using a Gallade on my team. Now, the fifth member of my, my team was fairly easy to place. I really wanted to use an electric type. Like, electric types are definitely a really handy to have to face any water types or flying types that you uh, might encounter. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one that I really, really wanted to use. Like, there were some good options, but none of them really screamed at me. And there weren't any good regional electric types either that I really wanted to use. So, I had to go oh, with one um, that uh, already existed before Pokemon Sword and Shield came out. And that is Raichu. Now, the main reason I wanted to put a, an electric type on my team is because I wanted to look a cat out after Score Bunny's weakness to water types. Unfortunately, mo the regional all electric types that we had introduced so far looked really weak and they couldn't evolve. So I had to cancel those out. I was thinking about using a Vikavolt, but I don't know where it evolves from. So I could evolve early in the game or re uh, literally at the end of the game. So I didn't want to risk that. So, and I couldn't really use a Jolteon, um, even though I really wanted to use a Jolteon, because the level up uh, moves that it, it gets uh, from level up, uh, all the electric moves that it gets from level up, they're rubbish, apart from Thunder. So, I had to go with my I, other option. I had to go with Raichu. But still, Raichu can learn some really good electric moves, and it can learn, learn some pretty decent moves along the way. However... As we all know, its defences are paper thin. But still, that is not going to stop me from adding an electric type to my team. Because I definitely think that Raichu can be a great asset to the team. Like, it can enter down, like some of the team's weaknesses, like such as water types. Like, that, I definitely cover a score bunny's weakness to water type. Like, I definitely wanted to put an electric type. So that's why I thought Raichu would be a great asset to the team. Plus, it's been quite a long time since I've used a Raichu, and I've won on. So I thought now would be a good time to put it on the team. Okay, time for the final member of the team. Now, I definitely wanted to add a ground type to the team, so that way it can cover uh, Corviknight and Lapras's weakness to electric attacks. Unfortunately, some of the good ground type types, well, are either A, version exclusives, or B, not that good. So, I had to uh, um, opt to my next best option, which is Rhyperia. Now, I was thinking about using a Mudsdale for my team. Unfortunately, I don't know when in the region we actually get Mudsdale, and if we do, if it's going to get any decent moves. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, Mudsdale isn't the best ground type of all. So, I decided to go O with Rhyperia. But still, I'm only going to use Rhyperia if we get its evolutionary item, well, before post-game. Because I want to have a Rhyperia on my team. And I don't really want on to ha uh, have a Rhydon on my team until oh, uh, the post game just to evolve it. So I really hope that the e it's evolutionary item is somewhere in, in the e main game and not in post game. Because I really want to use this Pokemon. Rhyperia is such awesome Pokemon. Plus, I've never used one when in a main story game. And I thought, hey, this would be a good chance to use one. Like, plus it can learn so many great moves, such as Stone Edge, Rock Wrecker, Drill Run, Earthquake, Mega Horn, Avalanche. The list goes on and on. Heck, it can even learn Thunderbolt. Like, I think that this would be a great member of the team because not only can it cover uh, so many of my team's weaknesses, it can also cover its own weaknesses by re with really powerful moves. Plus, it, it's like type range when it comes to moves is so wide. And that's why I definitely think that uh, Rhyperia would be a great member of the team.
And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. And be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you are hyped for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And if you have pre-ordered it like I have, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Because I'd love to hear what your opinion is about the new games. Also, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you really want me to uh, a, a, do a playthrough of Pokemon Sword when I get it. I'm If I do, I'm definitely going to use the team that I mentioned in this video. However... It may change uh, like, uh, due to certain items distributed or how early or late I can get these Pokemon. So it may change when I get them, but for now, they're fairly set in stone. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all from me, so until next time, this is Infernape, signing off. Bye!